Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new here, hey, my name is Tenna and welcome to my circus. On this channel, we like the Ramones. So, you know, do a little rocking out while I'm doing my face because we're only focusing on the eyes today. So, what we're doing today is we are going to be doing a eye tutorial for a eye look that has been very highly requested by me. Um, if you've been here for a little bit, I did do a like Marshalls, TJ Maxx haul, something like that in the beginning of the spring, maybe like four to five, six months ago, something around there. And um, I did kind of like a brown, smoky eye kind of dealio. Um, and it was just my look for the day. Um, but I've had quite a few people like private message me, comment and say like, we need a tutorial for this eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it the best that I can to pull out what I did for that eye look back in April. And we're gonna slap it on our eyeballs and we're gonna do a brown smoky eye today. So if this is something that you're interested in, something that you've been waiting five months for, I know I am sorry, I'm sorry. I should have done this a lot sooner, but I just wasn't feeling a brown smoky eye until today. So, something that you're interested in seeing, then go ahead and stick around. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, did you not see that intro? Why would you not want to hang out with me? Weird. That also gives you a reason to not hang out with me. Whatever, your choice. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the tutorial. Alright, so I already did my face, my eyebrows, as you saw in the beginning of the video, my little montage. So basically for this tutorial, you can use any eyeshadow palette that you want to. You are not tied down to use the eyeshadow palettes that I have. Basically, you need any type of eyeshadow palette that has a dark brown, a black eyeshadow, and maybe some type of like apricot, peachy, maybe orangey type transition shade. Very simple, you can find those in a lot of different palettes. Today, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. I got this around Christmas time. Um, it was discontinued, but they brought it back. They brought it back this month, so if you didn't get this the first time, I totally highly recommend getting this palette. It's just a dream. It's amazing and personally I think that like if you don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes or anything like that This is the eyeshadow palette that you would need to create like any eye look like this is the perfect Beginners eyeshadow palette and what I mean by that is look at this first of all It's huge like where's my face, but look at this I mean you have all of your neutrals which they're like in bigger pans because you do more neutral eye looks than anything Then you've got your blues you got your greens you got your reds and oranges and purples and more browns and all that good stuff. So you can basically create a ton of eye looks with this palette. So I definitely highly recommend purchasing this palette. I use the hell out of it and I totally forgot about it because I don't know, keeping up with like makeup and the whole beauty industry, you get like a new freaking palette every two weeks and it's ridiculous. It's so hard to keep up. Um, I forgot about it and I remembered it in the bottom of my drawer and I was like, you know what? This is going to be the perfect palette for this eye look. So basically what we're going to do is I've already primed my lids with a concealer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my eyes. That way you guys can kind of see up close and see what I'm doing. So give me a second. Let me zoom in on my face. All right, so we're all nice and zoomed in on my face. So basically what we're going to do is yes, I already concealed my eyes like I just said. Um, and when you do kind of a smoky eye, you do like the complete opposite of what you were kind of taught to do when it comes to doing eyeshadow. I know that everybody always kind of says that you start with your transition shade. So with the smoky eye, you actually start with the darkest part first. You lay that down first, then you start blending out with your transition shade. So basically, we're gonna go in to a very nice deep dot color. So I'm gonna go into this color right here. Very dark. I don't know the name of it because they don't put names of these and when I got this it was like the big plastic sheet that went over it and I, I got rid of it girl it was just it was too much work I couldn't I couldn't do it so I don't know what the name of it is but if you have this palette second row guy on the end here so we're gonna go ahead and take a nice dense packing brush we're gonna pack a ton of product onto it um, I'm gonna go in with the morphe m167 brush this is this guy right here he uses to pack shadows onto my lid so basically I'm gonna go ahead and dip into there with my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and pack it on to just my lid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push it down and just kind of pack it on to the lid. So basically, that is what we're looking like. Looks a little crazy, right? See, I told you, like, I feel like the Morphe palettes on their own are, like, really nice and pigmented. And, like, Jaclyn Hill has done, like, her palettes. If you haven't seen my last couple videos where I'm going over her vault collection currently, she swears that she's got this, like, crazy, innovative, like, 
formula and whatever and I feel like she just should have stuck with Morphe's because I'm having a lot of issues with her palettes whereas like these ones are like pigmented to filth like it's just they're amazing products like you know I don't have to pack on too much I'm just packing it on and it's going on very very opaque not patchy nothing all right, so we have our brown packed on, looking a little raccoonish, I'm aware. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a tapered blending brush like this guy right here. This is the Morphe M576 brush. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dip on into a lighter brown. So I'm gonna go into this guy right here, this first transition shade that you see. I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush and kind of dip into that. Um, and then we're gonna actually take this and we're gonna blend out all this harshness into the crease. So I super apologize if like my camera keeps zooming in and out. I don't know what's going on with it, but the last few videos, if you've gotten frustrated with me, I'm sorry, I'm getting frustrated too, but like I just bought this camera like six months ago and it's having like weird focusing issues. So like I have to stop to refocus it and it's really starting to piss me off. So I do super apologize if it's kind of zooming in and out and hard to see, but I promise I'm trying to catch it. I do have a little monitor screen over here where I can kind of see where it's zooming in and out so when I just catch it I do try to zoom back in so I'm sorry just bear with me so anyway like I said we're gonna take this transition shade we're gonna go ahead and go in right here and we're going to take this and just kind of blend it into this brown and just continue blending this out getting rid of all of that harshness So while I was blending this, I did dip into this little one in the middle too and kind of mix it in. So now I'm gonna go real light. I'm gonna go into this color right here. I'm gonna take that on a very fat, fluffy blending brush, which is this um, Morphe M535 brush right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that and I'm gonna blend that all the way into the top just to kind of lighten this up. Next, because I wanted to deepen it up on the outer corners, um, I'll take a very, very small, dense Morphe E17 brush, and I'm going to dip into the black in here ever so lightly. If you are using this palette to follow along with me, um, just do one little into the product. It's very pigmented. So I'm going to take that and just lightly kind of dab it onto the outer corner. See what I mean by like how dark it is? That's just one little hit into the pan. So I'm going to take this and just kind of pack it on, just kind of stipple it onto the outer corner of my eye. And then once I kind of have the product distributed, I'm gonna take this little brush and then just kind of blend it out here. From here, I'm gonna take a nice clean uh, blending brush. Anyone will do just a nice clean one. I'm gonna go in and just kind of blend this all in together, make sure everything is blending seamlessly. All right, now let's blend it out. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into that brown color that we used. I'm gonna take a little bit on a nice tapered blending brush or any type of brush that you would use to line um, underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out this bottom lash line. <laughs> All right, I don't really have like a light champagne kind of shimmer in this one, so just take any type of highlighter or any type of light champagne type of shimmer. I'm gonna go into the color Champagne Pop, um, but Becca highlighter, and I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that into my inner corners here. All right, so I'm also gonna take a little bit of black eyeliner, just regular black eyeliner. I have this guy right here by The Vintage Company. Um, it's their Smoky Black Eye Pencil. I'm gonna take that and rim my bottom lash line with it. So now that we line that bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take a smudging brush. Um, I'm gonna use this one also by The Vintage Company. Any type of smudging brush will do. I'm gonna take that and just kind of buff out that black eyeliner and just kind of blend it into that black. or blend it into the brown, not the black. Don't listen to me. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some winged eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with my tried and true favorite, which is this guy right here by Pretty Vulgar. It is their, um, the ink, blacklist, 
uh, eyeliner and I'm also going to use the eyeliner brush that comes with it by Pretty Vulgar which is this guy right here. It's their Wing Master brush. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on some winged eyeliner very quickly. So our winged eyeliner is on. I'm gonna very quickly throw on some mascara and some lashes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Milk Cosmetics Kush Mascara. And I'm gonna be going in with some Lily Lashes in the style Miami. These guys right here, they are amazing. And to finish up this look, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Cosmetics um, Melted Matte Lipstick in the color Suck It. Because it's one of my favorite colors. Always do kind of a nude or a neutral lip when you do a smoky eye like this. Unless you want to go full blown goth, like that's your prerogative. However, if you don't want to have your eyes be so crazy, because it is a very dark eye look, do a neutral lip, please. <laughs> That is my full tutorial on the eye look that I did in my TJ Maxx Marshalls video back in April, I think it was. I had a lot of people ask me to do this eye look, so there it is. It's pretty simple, just a simple smoky eye look with a little bit of black on the edge just to make it a little bit darker. Um, definitely gonna be a cool color, you know, combination to do for fall. Um, you know, we're still in the end of summer, but Lord knows I am ready for summer to be over. So I will be rocking fall looks until it's finally officially fall. I think we've got like a month left and then it can be fall. But anyways, you guys, that is it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully you guys are satisfied and finally got what you wanted. You finally got that tutorial. So anyways, thank you guys for following along and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.